Today I'm going to be reviewing the Hamilton Beach Digital Multi Cooker. When I was shopping on Amazon, I was really looking for something that could cook white rice and could steam. Those were my two main things, but I was pleasantly surprised to see that it actually cooks sushi rice too and does a host of other things like cereal, whole grains, quinoa, saute. I'm really interested to see what that feature is. And I didn't realize too, I'm getting a slow cooker. So it's kind of an all-in-one appliance. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the insides. I see the steamer top here. That's pretty cool to let the air out. It comes with this small measuring cup here. It looks like it maxes out at three-fourths cup. Since we have the fourth and half, we can pretty much multiply that to get however many cups we need. They also include this cute little rice paddle. Here's the steamer bowl. I actually really like the depth. I was concerned that it would be more shallow, but it's actually really nice. You can fit quite a bit of veggies in there. And here is the main bowl. You can see they put a line here to show you the max to fill it up if you want to slow cook. And they put a line here for a rice maximum. So don't go past this filled with rice because, you know, it'll boil up and be a big mess. We got some more measurements there on the inside. At the very top on the right, you can see that it goes up to 10 cups. After washing both of these first, I'm gonna remove the steam tray. I want to make some rice. From my understanding, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you're using two cups of rice, use two cups of water. Now let's get to cooking. Close it well. Turn the power on. I'm gonna go ahead and choose brown rice instead of white rice because my rice is parboiled rice, so it tends to be a little bit harder. Chose brown rice, same 16 minutes. Um, there it goes. And that's so simple. Looks pretty nice to me. Yay!